Welcome back. We are here looking at the US indices and the big tech stocks in the United States. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, December 17, 2020. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And if you want access to our technical, full technical analysis, our signal service or our online trades, you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. We'll start by looking at the S&P 500. And as you can see, we have rallied a little bit today. We are up 0.27 at this point, And uh, we are mostly going to go higher from here. So there has been a lot of economic news um, today. Much of it has been really mixed. But we can conclude um, one thing, and that is interest rates are going to be very, very low for a very, very long time. So they will be near zero all the way to 2023. There's two more years. So recovery from the coronavirus, uh, it's going to take a long time. And therefore, the, the Fed has decided that it will not change its interest rate basically the next two years whatsoever. So whether or not that is going to happen or not, probably. But at this point, it is very important for the Fed to signal to the market that they are not going to increase interest rate. If they were to, then this market would most likely collapse at this point. So even though there is a vaccine out there, uh, may, uh, coming out basically saying that interest rate are going to increase probably in a few months' time would be absolutely catastrophic for the economy and also the markets. So... They technically didn't have any any other decision. It was going to be you know, what they decided today. So let's look at the S&P 500. Well, we have rallied from the 20 exponential moving average. And as you can see, the 20 exponential average is basically the bottom of this market. Every time we get close to it, it is basically a buying opportunity. So we have rallied roughly, uh, roughly 1.97% at this point. We're running into some resistance here, which is the previous highs. And if we manage to take out those previous highs, we're heading to 3,800, probably to 4,000 within the next uh, few weeks or probably a month or two. But that is where this market is going. Every single time we go close, to get close to the 20 exponential, it is basically a major buying opportunity at this point. Everything is going to be pumped into the market. It is going to rally significantly in the coming, uh, uh, not just weeks or months, but probably years. Uh, there's going to be stimulus. There's going to be a lot of spending from the Federal Reserve and printing money and so on. And all of that liquidity, extra liquidity will basically just push this market higher. So at this point, there is no reason to basically start selling this. Even though we have falls like this, don't sell it. Just wait until it basically gets close to the 20 exponential and, and then basically buy it. The time when we saw these kinds of falls, that is most likely over at this point. It may happen, but it's very unlikely that we'll see these kinds of, of unstable um, activities in the market for a very long time. So 20 is basically the bottom at this point. And if you look at the technical indicators, they are looking fairly bullish. Stochastic has turned around, CCI has turned around. Uh, we are on the edge of being overbought, but we can, we can basically go much higher before it becomes a um, warning for the S&P 500. Uh, MACD is also signaling it's turning around, so it is a very good sign for the S&P 500. So let's look at the Dow Jones. Well, it has not been as bullish as... Uh, the other indicators, it is down 0.02 at this point, 3, so slightly down, but it is only a matter of time before before we take out these previous highs and then go higher. The same thing here, any pullback towards the 20 exponential is a basically a buying opportunity. If you look at the technical indicators for the Dow Jones, we are, we are not even close to being overbought, so there's a lot of room to the upside. From... If you want to invest in one of these three indicator uh, indices, then probably the Dow Jones is the uh, market for you at this point because 
there is a lot of room to the upside compared to the S&P 500 and also especially the, the Nasdaq. Uh, MACD is still bearish. The signal line is, if we have crossed the signal line, it's stochastic, so it's bullish. And uh, it is only a matter of time. If we take out these previous highs, we're going to 31,000. So roughly um, 800 points up. So let's look at the Nasdaq. We can see that we have rallied quite significantly in the end of the US session. We're up 0.67% uh, at this point. And I have been expecting a minor pullback. And the reason for that is because we are getting very stretched in the NASDAQ. Uh, it is actually, it's probably the, the companies that are part of the NASDAQ that are really, really popular. You can see most of them here which everybody just focus on. If, it, if it's good news, people just pump money into these uh, companies here, and therefore NASDAQ also goes bananas. So it tends to overstretch really fat, really often. So for example, here, here, and we are basically in the same position at this point where we're getting really overstretched. And the only thing that basically happens is that we get these massive falls of roughly 2 to 3%. So we are running that risk at this point. I was hoping for a minor pullback here so we could go, go higher, but we instead rallied. And the only thing that is basically going to happen is that we're going to see a similar candlestick probably tomorrow or Friday, Monday, se Monday session, and it becomes really risky to basically start trading this because it basically can take your head off at any point. So we are at 73 in the RSI. The other indicators are very bullish at this point. There's probably a little bit room more to the upside before we uh, pull back, but a pull in the back at this point is, is highly likely. So pull back towards the 20 exponential, that is the bottom of this market. That is an absolute buy if you get close to that. So let's look at the tech stocks. So. Netflix is running again into resistance at the 525. Uh, technical indicators are very bullish for uh, Netflix at this point. We are on the edge of being overbought. So if we get rejected here, then you're heading back towards the 50 moving average. And there's another buying opportunity. There's no reason to basically to sell this uh, at this point. It's basically the more you pull back, the more you basically can buy off Netflix. So let's look at Microsoft. Microsoft has finally rallied roughly 2.58%. It has been doing nothing for a very long time. And now all of a sudden it basically rallies. So technical indicators for Microsoft stock are looking very bullish at this point. If we manage to take out, we actually have taken out that. So we're basically heading towards these highs, which is 22, uh, 222. Uh, after that is 225, and then we're going to 228 if we manage to take out these our previous highs over here. So there's uh, some room to the upside. We're only at 62 in the RSI, uh, but it is looking like a, a very nice bullish run uh, for for uh, for uh, for Microsoft. But we are stretched here in the bullish band so we may have a little bit of pullback probably to half of this candlestick which is fairly common or these previous highs here at 217 that is probably where we'll pull back in tomorrow sessions or later into the united states at the u.s session so let's look at apple apple has yet again rallied we are trading at 128 at this point but our pullback at this point is, is almost inevitable. We are at 77 in the RSI. We are significantly overbought. And uh, that usually means that we are going to see a pullback. If you can look at the technical indicators, the RSI is turning around, but the other indicators are not. They are very bullish at this point. So we may go a little bit higher, but that only means that the fall will be that bigger. So... At this point, just wait for a pullback towards the 20 exponential moving average. That is your basically um, buying. And that is roughly 4% towards the 20 exponential. 
So let's look at Amazon. Amazon has also rallied today. We're up 2.19%. And at this point, we are most likely going to find some resistance here. We are already testing this area and we have yet again falling a little bit. There's a lot of room to the upside. We're at 56 in the, in the RSI, but uh, the other indicators are very bullish at this point. So if you manage to take out these previous highs, then we're going to these highs here at 3,300, then to 3,370, and then to probably do the all-time highs. So Tesla has pulled back a little bit. We were getting close to the 20 exponential, but this does not look really good for Tesla. It basically looks like we are going to turn around, head towards even the 40 or the 50 uh, moving average. If you look at the MACD, it's crossing the signal line. The RSI is looking very bearish at this point. Same as go, goes for the CCI and also stochastic. So it will be a question if the 20 exponential average doesn't hold, we're going towards the 40. And if that doesn't hold, we're going to the 50. If you manage to take out these previous highs here, we're going much higher towards $700 a share. So let's look at Facebook. Facebook ran into a major resistance here at the 20 exponential moving average and then broke down again. It is kind of expected for Facebook to rally even further. If you look at the stochastic, it is going to cross the signal line and continue higher. And that will basically push this market higher. So we tested the 100 moving average, which is absolutely the bottom of this market. So it is going to be exciting to see whether or not we manage to break above the 50 and the 20, uh, 20 or 40 exponential moving average. If that happens, we're heading all the way to these highs. And that is roughly roughly 4.56% to the old time highs from here that is roughly 10.5 percent so uh, investment at this stage is quite and quite lucrative if you manage to to hold on to it for a, quite a, so a few weeks or probably months so let's look at google google has broken down so there's a lot of negative news about google um but or not anything happens to this company that is highly unlikely it is most most of the time the political theater. Uh, people go out and say uh, things, and uh, it turns out it's just bogus. So I'm guessing that is the reason why we are not rising in in uh, in this stock uh, because of the basically all the bad news about Google at this point. Technical indicators are looking dreadful, so we may go drift lower or just drift sideways, but. I think it's just a matter of time before the stochastic turns around and the CCI turns around and we're heading towards 1870, uh, 47. Uh, but at this point, I would just stay and look, um, stay and wait and look what basically happens in Google stock. So I hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.